Van Andalusië gaan we naar Madrid. Naar het huis van Ricardo Calvo, internationaal schaakmeester, maar tegenwoordig vooral schaakhistoricus. Hij geeft een tijdschrift uit over de schaakgeschiedenis en hij heeft een bijzondere collectie schaakboeken. Toen vroegen hem of hij iets kon laten zien uit de rijke Spaanse schaakgeschiedenis. Yes, uh, the most important uh, collection of problems was made by a king we named Alfonso el Sabio, Alfonso the Wise, Alfonso. It was uh, compiled in Sevilla in 1283. I can show you. This is, well, this is a reproduction. You can appreciate Arabs, Jews, Christians, everyone uh -huh, playing yeah. chess. There are black chess players. Women. This is the most famous book. This is a, a unique uh, treasure for uh, for humanity because all Arabic mat material is compiled here. You can even see uh, not only normal chess. Most of the book is dedicated to chess, and exactly the part dedicated to chess are 64 pages, as many pages as cases has the chessboard. So the chess part finishes. Hier, in de part 64. Oh ja. En je ziet een christian en een arab. En ze zijn symbolisch spelen voor vrede. Want je kunt zien dat de weapons zijn buiten. Ik zie, ja. Dit is een message dat chess is war zonder bloedshed. Aha. Ik heb veel tijd met dit boek gebruikt. Maar. Uh, I will show you some things. Let me. For instance, always a finger points uh, the solution of the problem. This particular problem, the first move is knight from here to h5. And he's pointing at the knight who is the first piece uh, moving there. Well, this position with the ring, this, this one. This is very beautiful. It's uh, a man and, and uh, a, a couple of lovers, and she is giving him the ring. So uh, the, the bet uh, in chess was just the love. Probably she was married and the man was outside, but <laughs> in any case, the image is very interesting. And the position as well, because it is a famous Arabic problem. It's beautiful because uh, uh, it is a met in three. Timan knows much better, but if you look at the diagram, the solution is knight here, check. He takes with the rook, and then rook takes knight, king takes, and rook here, mate. It is uh, a famous Arabic problem. Some of the figures can be identified. The most interesting, I think I have identified recently, as uh, King Edward I of England, who married with a uh, sister of Alfonso the Wise. He was blonde, and he can be identified because he had a drop in his left eye. And uh, uh, it was a particular sign of him. He has inherited his, it from his father, King Henry IV of England, and it is described in all the chronicles. So I think the book has a lot of things yet to be discovered. Het origineel van dit boek ligt in het Escorial, het paleis van Philips II. Chess uh, was a part of a whole package of knowledge. It was not only a thing. The chessboard was used, for instance, as an abacus for calculation. So chess was connected with mathematics very, very closely. And then also it, uh, with astronomy, it was... Uh, astronomical games and even divinatory purposes. So uh, the whole package was very interesting for uh, the medieval mentality. And it was uh, considered as an important part in the education of kings, princes and noblemen. Um, you see in the, well, in the Chanson de Geste that uh, the hero always played chess because uh, it gives him a touch of of science, of uh, secret knowledge, which was very good for a hero. Now, chess players are <laughs> not exactly considered as heroes, but in the early times it was like this. 
Nou, in zeker helderdom bestaat nog wel. En volgende week hebben we daar een treffend voorbeeld van. Onze gast is dan de Hongaarse grootmeester Judith Polgaar.